Well, hi. Um, I have a Fetch TV Mighty Box, and I've recorded a whole bunch of free-to-air TV shows on Twitch, movies actually, um, over 100. And um, I thought, well, wouldn't it be great if I could record those movies to an external hard disk, take them away with me when I go on holiday, and watch them on my TV in my caravan where I'm staying? Um, took me a little while to research how to do it because it wasn't obvious, uh, and it's actually not too difficult once you understand how, so I'm going to share that with you. So what do you need to get this done? You need to have your Fetch TV box on the same network as your computer, um, and mine is. They're both on my home network. Uh, on my computer, I need a web browser. I use Firefox, and you're going to need the VLC Media Player, which is just a free download if you don't have it. Just type VLC Player into Google, download it, uh, and off you go. So let me share my screen with you and show you exactly how we are going to do this. So first thing is we need to run VLC Media Player. So if you don't have an icon for it on your desktop, just use the Windows search to find it, VLC Media Player. Click on it to launch. When the VLC Player comes up, in the menu on the left, you've got all these options. What the one, the option you want is, is under Local Network, Universal Plug and Play. And it will find your fetch box, STB is set top box, and then that's the um, your IP address, your internal home IP address for that set top box. If I double click on it, it opens up. There's two folders, recordings and movies. I've never ever in five years found anything in the movies folder. Everything goes into the recordings folder. So if we double click that, it opens up. And here we see folders for all the different movies that I have downloaded. Now, let's say I want to um, take a copy of The November Man uh, and paste, basically put that onto my portable disk so I can watch it when I'm on holiday. I have to open up that folder. It opens up and I see the actual file of the movie in there, The November Man, Wednesday the 12th of January, 2 hours, 50 minutes and 53 seconds. If I right-click that and click on Information, I get a location for it down here. So if I select that, right-click copy. I now have the, the URL to go and get that file uh, off my fetch box. And the way I do that is in a web browser. So like I said I use Firefox, so I'll switch to that. I'll paste that address into Firefox, and it will start to download. Now, it actually takes quite a long time to download, as you can see. Um, it's going to take about six or seven minutes. It only comes down at about six megabytes per second. Um, and the reason for that, I guess, is the fetch box is just throttled to how much data it can output at any one time. The other thing to note, a file name. It's not called The November Man. It's just a, a random bunch of letters dot TTS. Okay? So, um, what we're going to do now is uh, just pause for a while and come back uh, rather than wait, you wait five minutes to watch this download. I'll come back shortly. Okay, so the file has finished downloading in our browser, but it actually failed. If you look at the um, progress of our downloads here in Firefox, it's this one here. And it says failed. But don't worry about it. It hasn't actually failed. It's a perfectly usable file. You just need to know what you need to do to uh, resurrect it. So that downloaded to my Windows Downloads folder. So if I go there, uh, what I can see in that folder, uh, there is the name of the file I was trying to download. Remember, it didn't come out as... Um, November Rain, or whatever the name of the movie was, it gave it a number ending in dot, an extension dot .tts. But if you look at that file, it's actually zero bytes in size. Above that is a, a dot .part file. It shares the same name at the beginning, the same string of uh, numbers at the beginning, but it ends in dot .part. And that is actually 2.7 gig in size. And that is the movie that we've just downloaded uh, from... Uh, our fetch box. So all I need to do is rename this file. So um, just remind ourselves what it's called. I switch back to VLC. There we are. The, the November Man is the name of the movie. So if I now switch back to Windows Explorer, right-click this, rename it to 
the November Man. And I don't want it to be a .part file, so I delete that. It's actually an MP4, so if I change the extension to .mp4, say OK, Windows will say, are you sure you want to change this? Yes, I am. And that's it. I can now just copy this onto my portable hard disk. If you want proof that it actually works, let's double click it. It will start to play in VLC. There we go. You can see it's going perfectly well. Give it a stop. So that is how you take files from your fetch box transfer them to your PC so you can then put them onto a portable hard disk, take them away. Essentially, VLC media player to browse the file, copy the name of or the location of the file, paste that into a web browser. It'll start to download. After a few minutes, the download will end in failure. Then you just rename it to whatever the real name of the movie is and change the extension to .mp4. That's it. Too easy. All right. Thanks very much. See you later.